talking to Davis after the game, obviously he had a great performance, and he said he came up to you and asked you, you know, do you want to be out there? And you're like, no, man, I'm having so much fun watching you. I mean, what did you, what did you think of what you saw? No, it was, it was a great show, and I think by all three of our, our backs, and, you know, obviously a win's a win. Um, you know, having that type of want and drive from the guys that were playing, I mean, that – you know, it carries over into the season. You know, these games mean a lot to a lot of different players. And um, I know that, I understand that. So getting to sit back and watch my buddies, you know, do good and, and have fun and make plays out there, it's exciting for me. All that, all that racing you do with him paid off. You see him uh, scooting around out there a little bit. Um, kind of took some of us by surprise, him showing that athleticism out there. How about you? No, he's, he's athletic, man. I, and... You guys see us run before every practice, but sometimes he gets the best of me. I think he might have me in speed. Um, I don't want to admit that, but just did, I guess. Uh, but no, he's he's just kind of sneaky athletic. Uh, he's tall, he's lengthy, but he can move a little bit. Um, and as far as like throwing mechanics wise, I mean, me and him kind of have like the same thoughts on a lot of different things and incorporated some things that I was doing and he was doing. And we've, we've shared some ideas on that. So it's been obviously a great relationship and I've, talked about Davis a lot, and uh, he means a lot to me and to this team. What did you learn from not having a preseason last year to help you get prepared for the regular season, understanding maybe you won't get as many reps as you would have maybe traditionally? Yeah, I mean, every time you step on the field, though, you, you want to execute, you want to make the right decisions. Um, so when if, if and when I do play in the preseason, you know, it's not going to change. Just trying to make the right decisions, getting the ball out and let our playmakers make plays. And that's really what it comes down to at the end of the day. Us being able to move the chains, uh, skip some third downs. And, um, you know, again, having that preseason, though, just to kind of get some get some of those kinks out and, and get back into the groove of things, maybe take a hit or two uh, just to feel that and, and feel what it's, what it's like again because it's been so long. But um, having no preseason last year, I mean, again, it wasn't a problem for us. Uh, the guys that we have on this team, they, they work their butts off in practice, and we have our timing down before we go out there anyway. So uh, it is what it is at this point. If I play, I play. If I don't, I don't, and we'll be ready to go week one. So there is value, though, you see, to at least getting some action. You mentioned some of the, the circumstances that would make you feel like you can really hit the ground running. Yeah, absolutely. And I think really just your body, like the soreness you feel after a game, especially game one, is so different than practice. Uh, whether you take one hit or 100 hits, you wake up that next morning, you're like, all right, that, I haven't felt like that in a while. And eventually throughout the season, you kind of get used to it and you know what to expect. But um, it kind of jumps on you after that first game. Do you know if you're going to play this weekend or you know, you're just kind of still waiting to find yeah, still out? Still waiting to find out. Um, you know, whatever coach, whatever decision coach makes, uh, we'll roll with it and go from there. Do you feel like you're in a point in your career now, though, that maybe you don't necessarily need as many reps as you used to? Well, I mean, season -wise. I, I love playing. You know, I want to be out there with my teammates. Um, but again, uh, and if I don't, I don't, and get to sit back and watch my other my other teammates make some plays and uh, get some tape out there. And um, it, it, yeah, I, I have no say w whether I play or not. Josh, what's it been like for you to have Dion back in practice? It's been good. You know, it was fun out there today. Him moving around. I know, uh, you know, he's getting back into the swing of things and just trying to get his body right. And you know, it took a toll on him, but he's he's fun. he's good now and he's out here and. Um, you know, he was very focused today. I saw that out of him, and um, that, that was that was a good sign. Obviously, him coming out here and understanding his job and, and, and getting to work, and uh, I freaking love that guy. You know, uh, so it's it's awesome to have him back out. Josh, we always talk about um, Reed and Singletary and Moss. What do you see out of Williams? You know, he had that one good game at the end of last year, but what do you see out of him in practice and, and in the games? Yeah, he he knows his strengths very well. Um, you know, being like a one cut power back, downhill runner. And uh, he's, I'll tell you what, he's, he's a load. Uh, he's a big dude, and he can lower the shoulder and bring the boom. And um, I think that's what everybody saw out of him. But I think he's got some sneaky speed, too. You know, he kind of jumps off. Um, you don't realize it because he's so big, and he's, uh, his legs are a little longer. But um, he's powerful back and uh, makes one cut, and he just goes with it. He's a very decisive runner. Josh, you uh, frequently mentioned Shea Tierney when you talk about your development. Just uh, if you could elaborate a little bit on what he's meant for you in, in your career and how he's helped you. Yeah, I mean, he's been here since day one. Um, he's basically Dable's right-hand man. I mean, he makes all the cut-ups. Uh, he makes all the uh, the install pages. I mean, he does so much for this team. And, um, you know, he is the most underpaid person working for the Bills, I'll tell you that. He, he does so much for this team and for this offense. Uh, he runs our scout defense. 
uh, just the energy and juice that he brings to. He's, he's just one of the guys, uh, and he loves football. And that's, that's what I love about him. He is just always ball, and he loves to have a good time. Um, and when he's in our meeting rooms, it's, it's awesome because the things that he sees, and he's been around a lot of really good coaches in the past, and he's been able to kind of take some things from those guys and uh, apply it to what he's doing now. And, you know, he's, he's still very young, but I think he's got a long, long future in this NFL business. Yeah, Gabe Davis. That was, that was about Gabe Davis as well. Uh, as camp goes on, just the relationship with Mitch and how's that been progressing and, and what you're seeing from him? No, it's been great. Um, you know, we spend a lot of time together, and uh, to have that trust, I mean, again, it's right now he's still kind of learning everything. You know, he's, he's a couple months into our offense, and uh, just the questions that he has, I'm able to answer, and the, the questions that I have, he's able to answer, you know, and he brings a lot of value to this team, a lot of knowledge, obviously a lot of experience. So uh, it's, it's awesome to have somebody like that um, that you can just kind of bounce ideas off of and um, just he, he's, a, he's a great player, but he's an even greater person, and uh, I wish everybody could know who he is. How much time did you get last year to throw with Jake Kumaro? Considering he was on a practice squad, he was here, he wasn't here, and how much did that? Like, how much? What did you see out of him last year to know that? Hey, we got this guy coming back this year, and you have maybe a, uh, a repertoire. With him. He's my favorite receiver. One for one, one touchdown, hundred <laughs> percent. And we'll try to keep that thing rolling. No, but Coom comes to to practice every day, and he just puts his head down. He works, doesn't talk a whole lot, um, but he is a definite like he's the definition of a gamer like get in the game and, and do whatever it takes uh, but again like just being finely crafted with his with his skill right now and understanding different routes and different um, you know press jam techniques to get off and uh, he's a big body receiver he uses his physical tools and uh, he's just a guy that you root for too he's just so nice and so humble and um, guy that just wants to do his job for this team did you see that last year when he was here that limited time like is that a guy that you said, yo, hey, this guy can play in this league? Absolutely, absolutely. And I think, you know, uh, Bean's going to have a lot of tough decisions. We know the nature of this business. Uh, we've got a lot of really, really good football players on this team. And it's, it's awesome to be around the type of environment that we have going here. And I think, uh, you know, everybody would attest to that as well. What do you think of his hair? Huh? What do you think of his hair? Uh, Coombs hair? It's touchdown Jesus. <laughs> I mean, he's, it's the flow. It's awesome. You, uh, obviously, you to have Stefan out on the field, but uh, the fact that he hasn't been lately and Emmanuel's kind of been in and out has given you the chance to maybe work with some guys and get reps with them that otherwise wouldn't. Uh, is that is there some value in that for you right now? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and we know Steph and E when they get back and when they're ready to go, um, they're going to go out there and, and do what they always do. You know, that's why they've played in this league for so long. And um, But again, getting some reps with these other guys and just seeing what they can do feeling their body language, uh, throwing different types of balls to them just, and figuring out you know, what best suits their game. Um, so it's, it's been good to kind of get those reps and uh, you know, hopefully we can continue that. Josh, I believe the first time we talked to you this camp, you mentioned how Mitch has taught you a lot and how he can make this quarterback room better. And I was wondering if there were any specifics or any maybe things that he brought to the table that this team didn't have before he got here. Yeah, I mean, I think just recognition of defense. Um, He's, he's obviously got a lot of experience. I think he started 50-plus games in the league. So he's seen so many different things. Obviously, being um, in the division that he was in, uh, he, he faced some really good defenses. And obviously, we're, we're playing those defenses in the preseason. Um, but just having that knowledge of those D coordinators and being able to pass along different types of uh, tidbits of information, uh, it's been very useful. And uh, you know, I'm excited when the season starts because it's going to be extremely helpful. Why do you feel like this guys? Um, I, I, we just, we gel very well together. We, we find humor and I, I mean, we, I, I kind of mean, I, I find humor in everything. And, uh, I try to keep the room light and upbeat and, um, as fun as possible. And, uh, I'm, I'll tell you, I'm leading all the fine boards, uh, in our room. I'm going to be the heaviest find quarterback in the league in our room. So I'm looking forward to that, but it's just, we, we have a good time. Uh, we're all about ball, but we can turn it off and we can turn it off and uh, just be regular dudes that just like hanging out with each other and golfing and fishing and, and doing other things like that. So uh, it's a really fun group to be a part of.